Hello, my name is Gene M. I'm a gastroenterology fellow at Winthrop University Hospital, the primary teaching affiliate of the Stony Brook University School of Medicine, located in Manila, New York. On behalf of my chief and senior investigator, Dr. James Grindel, and my colleagues in the departments of gastroenterology and radiology, I would like to discuss our study entitled, The Appendix May Protect Against Clostridium Difficile Recurrence, to be published in an upcoming issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Recurrent Clostridium difficile infection occurs in approximately 20% of patients after the initial resolution of C. diff that can be very frustrating to manage. Risk factors identified for recurrent C. diff suggest that the interaction between host immunity and colonic flora disruption plays a crucial role. Now, we became interested in the human appendix, an often maligned organ thought to be simply a non-functioning vestigial appendage as possibly playing a role in recurrent C. diff infection after a series of studies emerged in the theoretical biology literature about the possible functions of the appendix. The appendix has been proposed to be a safe house for commensal bacteria by aiding in biofilm formation via mucin and secretory IgA production uh, from its abundant gut-associated lymphoid tissue that enhances survival of commensal bacteria within the gut while excluding pathogens. Regular shedding and regeneration of biofilms within the appendix could potentially re-inoculate the colon with commensal bacteria in the event of C. diff infection. In fact, a significant decrease in overall diversity of gut flora in patients with recurrent C. diff has been described compared with first episode C. diff patients and healthy controls. Thus, the appendix could be involved in the complex symphony of host immunity and colonic flora disruption as a result of C. diff infection. Now, coupling this body of evidence with epidemiologic studies demonstrating that a history of appendectomy for appendicitis may reduce the risk of developing subsequent ulcerative colitis and even modulate its clinical course, we felt compelled to determine if uh, there was an association between the presence of an appendix and other clinical variables with Clostridium difficile recurrence. During the two-year study period, we identified a total of 254 consecutive adult inpatients with documented C. diff diarrhea and confidently known appendix status. Eleven clinical variables were evaluated for a possible association with C. diff recurrence. Univariate analysis identified the presence of an appendix, age greater than 60 years, history of bowel cancer, and recent use of a proton pump inhibitor or chemotherapy as good candidates for the multivariate analysis, which ultimately determined that the presence of an appendix was inversely associated with C. diff recurrence and that age greater than 60 years was positively associated with C. diff recurrence. Now, these findings suggest that the presence of an appendix may be protective against C. diff recurrence. Now, to our knowledge, this is the first study to evaluate this. However, with as with any retrospective study, this study has limitations, so statistically significant associations described here should not be considered as causative until validated by a prospective study. So, what are the possible implications of the findings in the study? They suggest a possible protective mechanism of the appendix against C. diff recurrence that could enhance, in simple fashion, existing clinical prediction models for recurrent C. diff. Another implication is the need to reassess the practice of incidental appendectomies being performed during abdominal and gynecological surgeries. Now, it's estimated that a thousand such procedures are required to prevent just 13 future cases of appendicitis and may subject the patient to an increased risk of recurrency diff. Further epidemiologic and prospective studies are necessary to better define the relationship between the appendix and recurrent C. diff. What is clear is the mounting evidence that the human appendix is indeed not simply a vestige of evolution, but likely an important player in the complex interactions between host immune responses and pathogenic and commensal bacteria in the gut. Thank you for your interest in our study.